So we've been doing a lot of drawing so far, but we haven't talked about something as simple as, say, writing your name. That's what this lesson is about, text. So why might we want to use text? Well, maybe we want to show the score in a game, or have characters talk, or just make our name grow and shrink and change colors. So let's go ahead and try to say hello. We can say text, hello, and we have this weird error message that pops up, saying that hello is not defined. What does that mean? Well, the problem is that the program thinks that hello is a variable. And that kind of makes sense from the program's perspective, because maybe hello could be a variable. How would it know? So how do we tell our program that it's actually text? So that's easy. We just have to remember to put these quotation marks around it. And that says that, no, this is not a variable. In fact, this is text. And we want you to display it as text. And you can remember this by thinking of a book where all the characters talk, and there are quotes around what they're saying. And similarly, when you want the program to say something, that text has to have these quotes around it. And this is actually really important and easy to mess up, so I'm, e so I'm just going to say it again. Anytime you want to use text in your program, you always have to use these quotation marks around it. Otherwise, you're going to get some really weird error messages. And remember, if you do see those weird error messages, just be sure to double check that you are remembering to use quotes. Great. So now we're using quotation marks, and we don't get an error anymore. But you might have noticed that nothing's happening, and it's still blank. But what is kind of strange is if we set a background to something, say just a red, then we see that it is actually there, it's just in white. So the problem is, if we think about it, that we were writing white text onto a white background, and that's why we couldn't see it. So that seems a little bit silly. Why are we writing white text onto a white background? Well, we can just change it because we learned how to set the fill of something. And just like we can set the fill of a rectangle or a line, we can set the fill of text to anything, just like before. And then there it is. It shows up without needing the background. So let's look a little bit more to how this text thing is working. The first part is obvious enough. It's just whatever text we want to write. The next part, if we change it, we can see that it's basically just how far over. And the next one is just how far up and down. That part looks really familiar from when we were just drawing rectangles. One thing that's a little bit tricky is that text has these two coordinates specify the lower left part, so this corner of the text. While with rectangles, it's the upper left, this corner. And that can seem like it was just designed to confuse you, but it's just something you kind of have to remember. And we can even experiment and see it for ourselves by we can set this to, say, height. And we can see that, yeah, it is. It's setting the height to be this lower left coordinate. Or we can set it to 0. And you can think, what, we sh what should we expect then? And we don't see it at all, but if we slowly start increasing this, we can see that, yeah, it is kind of just like peeking out there. Because again, that lower left coordinate is what we're specifying, not the upper left. OK, so enough of analyzing this text thing. Let's go ahead and make it better. For example, let's start to make it bigger. We can do that with text size, which just tells the program how big to draw the text. And we can make it 30, which is pretty big. We can make it even bigger. Or we can make it really, 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 really small, whatever we want. So let's go ahead and draw your name and maybe a little message about yourself underneath. Since I don't know your name, I'm just going to draw my name. You can switch it to yours in a moment. So using what we just learned, we can say text Sophia, and there my name is. And then maybe I want to put a little message underneath, like I like puppies and guitars and coding. So that's great, except we obviously need to change the position so that they don't overlap. And I don't know, that's kind of a long string of text. So let's change it to be a smaller text size. And there we go. And that's pretty good. Except, I don't know, it's kind of boring having them both be blue. So let's just change the fill. And let's make it maybe a nice, I don't know, maybe a nice, like, purple. All right. And there you go. That's all there is to drawing text and changing colors and changing size.